I think Zerom has the edge just because the Belmonts are good against other zoners. I think Mario could struggle against them. You've got a cape, sure, but your stubby limbs really come into play. True. And will be a huge drawback. And then, I don't know, Ness against Lucina is not good either, so. I think that's really the wild card character is Lucina. If if Zerom is forced to expend Roy early, or if like Lucina gets expended early against him, this is going to be a problem. But it looks like both sword characters are the anchors of these two teams. All right, a little dash dance war here. It's going to be Zeron coming out on top. And the caveat of Roy, of course, is that you have to be close up to get the maximum damage and block advantage out of your um, your swings. But that also means that Mario's range is no longer such a drawback for him. We're going to see if this comes into play. I think Krom would have been a better choice. I mean, you see Cappy on the guy's head. It's like, all right, probably plays Mario. Let me go for somebody who can space really well. Actually, Krom is kind of difficult for Mario because the up B is just so unsafe. You can cape it for free or flood it for free. Yeah. So it's, it's it basically you're just surrendering off stage play. Meanwhile, Roy can actually go off stage, punish Mario, and usually get back without too much of a problem. And Zerom immediately trying with that forward smash to end this man just about at zero here. Good God. Wow, okay. Does double jump early and then swings forward air on the way down. Very interesting conversion there on the part of no tag, but it actually worked out for him. These air dodges by Notag are kind of interesting. They worked out once or twice, but that third one getting snuffed out, and that is the vulnerability of Mario. If he goes for the fireball, there's a ton of lag on it. Just follow the aerial drift and swat him out of the air. Yeah, it's kind of a panic option, right? The Marios get popped off, off pop up, popped up off stage. Jesus, words are so difficult. And they want to protect themselves on the way down. But if you're able to thread the needle, get underneath the fireball, it could be curtains real quick. So now we're seeing the Samus. Great call out there on the neutral getup with that charge shot. This is a re-grab, but what punishment do we get? Nothing. That kind of just pivoting around, no tag was perhaps looking for an up tilt. He's going to lay those bombs, cover neutral getup, oh, and so jump. Sick. Wow. Forward air, such a strong move in this game from Samus. So now it is, you said that Melmonts are typically good against zoning characters, so we have to see it here as two projectile characters going at it, but charge shot might be kind of taken out here once you fire it once. Are you actually going to have the time to do it again with this man tossing out everything in the back pocket at you? Love that landing there into up B from Zerom here. And he's just going to wall Samus out. She needs to come in, and that's a problem for this character. Her dash attack significantly nerfed from Smash 4 in terms of startup time. So we're going to see her struggle to break the zone, especially not only because you have projectiles to worry about, but the whip just outranges everything in Samus's kit when it comes to fighting close up. Very true. In addition, Samus is kind of a floatier character, so you're really committing when you full hop. And Zerom, if he actually calls one out with a whip, there's little that you can do. Defensive options. Samus doesn't really have any that covers that verticality. Oh, oh no. Tech flub, perhaps, right there. Down smash instead of either down tilt or forward tilt. No, I think he wants that. Yeah, he's looking for the down yeah, smash. Yeah, it seems like it. It missed the first time, but he just rinsed and repeated again. Back throw, not enough to do it, but maybe the next one, and certainly a forward throw. If no tag is near the corner, what's the option going to be? Wow, rolls right in, catches Zerom a little bit off guard. I think he was trying to bait out neutral get up for the forward throw. Oh, and that holy water cruising right over Samus's head. She's tall, but not tall enough for that. And only a forward tilt as a punish out of that parry. Couldn't pull the trigger on the up B, so Samus lives again. Again, the down smash. That seems like it just does not reach Samus, perhaps. Maybe it's the main habits, man. <laughs> yeah, I guess immediately go for Yo-Yo. Down smash at the edge. What could go wrong? But we see no tag starting to build this one back. I mean, he's down 130%, but But that was still a little bit aggressive. It, it's he ran off as Samus and said, I bet you don't have an out-of-shield option. Oh, wait. Maybe you do. <laughs> All right, here's Lucina, though. This could be bad for the Belmonts. I think they're really good against her in neutral, but of course, on hit, Lucina can just have her way with them. Yeah, they're Carry just off stage. To do. And a couple tilt, just trying to space Lucina out, doing a very good job at it so far, but that up B out of shield, such a powerful option in this matchup, particularly a matchup that does not have these, these opportunities to actually like build up momentum. Hard call there from no tag saying, after the second down tilt, you're so ready to punish me that I'm just going to stick the up B in your face. Struggling to find this kill, though. This is really where things are going to get a bit hairy. The Belmonts have great survivability, and if you're able to just keep Lucina away from you, shield when she gets close, it's really tough for a stock to get removed. Just whittled away right now. What can Lucina do? Finally calling out that jump onto the platform, gets that up air to take the stock, but now we have Zerom's main. This might be a bad matchup, but with already 100% bot, perhaps that's the advantage he's going to need to clean this one up. We need to see something special from Notag to get this stock off. Yeah, I'd say Ness versus Lucina is even when you have 100% handicap. <laughs> 
Yeah, when you only have to play half of the game, it's even. Yeah, when you only have to back throw. Yeah, that's basically what this is going to devolve into. Another 15% and just about anywhere on stage, back there will do it. Problem is, Lucina's so tough to grab. And as long as she's spacing carefully. But no tag, forced to the corner. Zerom looked like he pseudo-read that jump, but he didn't want to commit to trying to punish it or stuff it out. Yeah, I decided instead to get the magnet cancel. Not quite working out. That is not a re-grab, so... Oh, Ooh, very nice drag down. Okay. Yeah, that was a super fake combo. There were a lot of caps in there, and the fair drag down, down tilt. Like, both of those in between, you could have either upbeat or maybe just blocked or done something. Either way, such a weird, unfamiliar position for a lot of players that no tag, I can't fault him for not blocking there. Especially considering that Lucina's best get out of jail free card leaves her vulnerable afterwards. Like, if right. you actually want to, do that up B and get out of that. But if you guess wrong once, when you're already down 100%, that's the game. Yes. So are you willing to bet it all? Do you have that kind of confidence? And right there, unfamiliar situation, perhaps in an unfamiliar matchup, and no tag decides, nah, I'm going to let this one rock. See me game two. All right, where is the counter pick going to be, though? No tag. I feel like he wants maybe flat space for his Samus, but then Mario likes the platforms, Lucina likes the platforms, so maybe something like Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield I think might do it, but Smashville is a very good opportunity right now too. I want to say this is probably Mario's second best stage after both of the triplats, so if you're going to be able to have that phenomenal coverage there with Mario's up there's a threat to kill him off the top. In addition, if you're playing Lucina Samus, it's a smaller stage, so you're not going to be able to run away as far as Samus, but at that mid-range, neither can the Belmonts. So that might actually help him out in that matchup quite a bit. So hard to counterpick in, in Squad Strike, man. It is, yeah. Especially if you play a lineup that's just good on a wide variety of stages. You almost can't be counterpicked. Yeah, it just comes into a comfort thing. I really yeah. do feel like that. Or either that, or you're going to go ahead and change up your lineup. And it looks like if we're adding space animals on triplats, then yeah, I'm, I'm digging this choice. I'd keep the Lucina, yeah, and drop the Samus. Oh, zero suit Samus. She's taking her clothes off? Nah, no, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. you didn't beat the game fast enough. Yeah, <laughs> true. Here we go. The switch only on the part of no tag, dropping Samus for Wolf. I mean, just something I'd recommend to anybody who plays Samus. Like, <laughs> Wolf is a pretty good character. You got I 30 or more characters that are better than her in the game, so why waste your time? I think just Wolf is an adjective, to be honest. Like this, anytime I see something nonsensical happen, where it's like, wow, that shouldn't have killed, but I guess that's character. No, it's like, mad no, Wolf that's right just there. Wolf. Yeah. yeah, that sure is Wolf. Yeah. Anytime I see somebody get like a forward air and a back air that kills at 70 at edge, it's like, yeah, it was Wolf. What can we do? Moving on. <laughs> but, yeah. the, all right, what is the lineup? Taking a moment or so to decide who leads first is Zeron here. Either that or he's checking his notes. All right, the pregame preparation. Just, you got to ice him. Yeah, exactly. Just take, exactly. take a minute cool or two. down. Like, yeah. You got that momentum from that game one victory. All right, take a minute or two. Wave into the camera. Zero completely unfazed, not switching his roster up in either character nor order. So, see if that pays off for him. His Roy was definitely cooking at the start. Meanwhile, it seems as though Mario is down into the pocket there for no tag, not leading with it, instead anchoring with it and starting off with this Wolf. Wolf versus Roy, yeah, I think this is a much better matchup. Like, Wolf seems to do very well in this, particularly if he gets to play more patiently with the gun. Yeah, I think he's great against sword characters because you have the one true whiff punish on all of their normals being a laser. Yep. And it travels so slow that it kind of forces them to jump. And if you jump above a wolf, it can be really risky. That man's forward air can outrange some sword characters. Yeah, it'll just air to air you, meet you halfway. So far, no tag doing really well at the beginning of this match. Falling up air, not safe on shield, but actually pummeling a little bit too long there, and Zeron mashes out. That up tilt looking like Snake here, almost killing off the top sub-120. Yeah, such a strong move. The weird hitbox, too, in a good way. Sure is Wolf. Yeah, that move is pretty Wolf. All right, forcing the low recovery. Ooh, I thought he was going to hit him with Nair. So did I. That he was... He trade with Roy's up B, whatever. Yeah, I mean, you can see the blood in that man's eyes. The minute you're off stage, he wants it. Speaking of wanting it right there, going a little bit high was no tag. Zeron whiffing with two tilts, missing out, and a potential phenomenal opportunity to end that stock early. Ooh, dash attack right in his face, catching the initial dash from Zeron's Roy. It's going to be Simon Belmont now. Character that I think Wolf does really well against. You've got projectiles to match his own and a reflector and great normals and great air drift. So a lot of the strengths of the Belmonts kind of get taken off the table by 
characters like Wolf, it's just not an auto win by any means. I agree. It's, especially at Edge, this looks impossible for Wolf. But the minute that you can actually box with this character, the Belmonts get a lot worse. Yeah, not the quickest frame data up close. But that's the whole point. Don't let you get to that point. Toss him off stage, 135 already. And our, I think we're seeing a lot more of options you, that Zerum is using to anti-air this man. Yeah, the Simon looking clean for sure. Ooh, somehow didn't catch the landing leg on that air dodge. I thought he was for sure getting that back air. And now it looks like Zerum's maybe back in the driver's seat. Just getting out of that edge situation with the down tilt. That's such a powerful tool for the Belmonts. Not only do you get a chance to carry your opponent with you, but if that if they shield it, then just repositioning. It's getting yourself back to center stage. And if they're not fast enough to catch you, well, uh, all right, I'll take center stage. We're good. Yeah, and then it has a kind of weak but still existent uh, mix-up where you can just not swing the second part of down tilt. Either grab or just back off, wait for an option from your opponent. Belmonts are tricky, man. That's why you see even a character that can just edge guard them and kill them so easily like Lucina still sometimes has trouble if they get to stay on stage for long enough. And good rapid jab by Zerom there, calling out the shield drop. Gets tossed up and just cannot punish these landing options though. Zerom is picking great opportunity just to get out of there. And there's the mix-up you were talking about, not swinging double with that down tilt. Really liking the uh, play Look at the shield pressure. That was phenomenal right there, just trying to whittle down the shield. Perhaps we're going to see an axe set up after all of this. And just put no tag in a position where if he shields, he just loses it all. But it looks like it's starting to recover already. You see the forward throw. Unfortunate to stale that, but just wanted the stage control. Oh, wow, forward tilt tipper, enough to do it. All right, there we go. Zerom in a pretty close exchange on the second stock, going to pull ahead here. And no tag does some work to do here. He might be wearing Cappy, and he might wish that he had that in his moveset to take control of this man, because Zerom so far has this game firmly in his own hands, but actually that was a pretty clean uh, clean option right there. Immediate kill. Definitely didn't have the ledge in his hands, unfortunately. Very true. I'm sitting here singing the man's praise, and it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll take that right away. No more of that. Gonna make the commentator look foolish every now and then. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Zerom just went for a wave bounce landing PK fire. That was pretty clean. I like seeing Ness players get a little technical. He's definitely got a high ceiling if you want to explore that side of him. Ooh, the jab one unshield, so tricky. Baits the response in the form of up smash from no tag. It's gonna whip it, but this is still anybody's game. Only 30% differential. Absolutely not out of the woods yet, Zerom. You still got a lot of work to do. No tag's playing really patient here, and Zerom's taking the bait. Zerom has the percentage lead, but no tag is just not going in. He's choosing defensive options, facing behind Zerom so that he can have that back girl and up smash always available. And Zerom is swinging. And if you're going to allow Mario to trade with you, you're probably going to lose the match. You have to keep this man out. If you try to like let him nickel and dime you against oh, Mario, he just needs one interaction. Man. One cape to send your PK Thunder the wrong way and get you all confused. That's going to be a 1-1 one, one set. Hey, man, we were asking for it, and we got it. Zero. Also, uh, he is power ranked in MDVA, yeah? I know he was at the end of Smash 4. I believe he still is, yeah. Yeah, so this is potentially an impressive win on the part of No Tag if he's able to go the distance and close it out next match. Of course, no guarantees. Still some Smash left to be played in the set for these guys. True. I, I think that if we're going to see Zerom lead, or should me anchor with Ness again, if no tag does the exact same thing with Mario, we might see a very similar outcome. That matchup is one where it's literally just a coin flip sometimes. If you get put in a spot where you don't know what you're going to do, or if you expend your resources offstage, Flood and Cape are so devastating for Ness's recovery that there is very little that Zerom is going to be able to do. It's the great equalizer, and if those two characters match up immediately, I think Zerom's in trouble. Yeah, it's definitely Ness's weakest point, being off the stage. Can never feel comfortable there. And Mario really does excel at edge guards as well. So even in the absence of Flood and Cape, we could just see a drop back air from the edge, hit you before he can hit himself with PK Thunder. And then he's all the way out there. Probably can't make it back, especially without a double jump. Even a weaker, a strong hit Nair will do it in this matchup. Yep. Ness's aerial drift is really good, and his air dodge is really good. But basically, it doesn't matter if you, get, if you could get back to the stage with your up B. All that matters is if you're put in a spot where you have to up B, then the flood becomes available. Drop down flood is a threat in this matchup. Yeah, it's super, super scary. And you feel really dumb after it hits you, too. <laughs> just drop down uncharged flood against Ness. As a Mario player, Like that, that's one of those where I just look at him and I just give him like the sly grin. It's like, yeah, I got that. <laughs> it was dumb. We yeah, both I'm a genius. <laughs> My Mensa application's in the mail. All right. Ooh, so we are going to see yet another change on the part of NoTag. Dropping Lucina, this time going with Zero Suit Samus instead. All right, very interesting pool of characters this guy has to pull from. But I think, you know, we can tell by the one constant that Mario is his best. 
Meanwhile, Zerom, yeah, he's going to stick Ness in the back again. Okay, so we might have the same exact anchor matchup. Yeah, we're seeing again Roy versus Wolf. Then we're seeing the Belmont versus Zero Suit. Finally, that same anchor matchup as you said. So game three on Battlefield here. And this is Zerom's counterpick too. So decided to allow Triplats with Zero Suit Samus and Mario in the pool now. This is kind of scary. I would not be surprised if we just see one of these socks explode at 0% or thereabouts. Yeah, very combo heavy lineup on the part of Notag. And look at the change too. Like we just have, we have a combo heavy lineup instead of like the Samus that we had game one. Right. Like that little bit of a break. All right. Edge pressure situation. How does Wolf get back up? He tries to jump around, but Zerom are ready for that with the back air and sees his center stage again, not allowing no tag free real estate here. Oh, the fake ledge trump slash failed ledge trump attempt. Oh man, not taking that knockdown. No tag kind of cooking right now. Brought this almost all the way back to even. But Roy with a ton of kill power. That so. sly movement option with the side B too. Single hit. Just wait to see what no tag's gonna do. He drops shield. This is a regrab. What is the punish option? Tries for the running forward tilt, but that does not hit edge if you don't space it properly. Looks like Zerom's been ready for the option every time from no tag. Just a bit off on the execution. He even was ready for that roll, but just not space for it. No tag trying for that back air. He had one thing on his mind that entire interaction. Just catch the size 12 Tims, my man. I think Wolf definitely is rocking at least 15s, man. True. I don't even know if they make a size 15 shoe. Man is shopping at the same shop that Shaq is. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I could fit in a 12, and, you know, I'm not not a big dude. So, all right, there we go. Zero, I'm finally peeling that first stock back. Zero suit is coming out, though. This character, a bit hard to land her kill moves, but they're really hard <laughs> when they hit. So we could see back air. We could see up B. Out of shield, particularly. And Zerom wisely recognizing that running in against Zero Suit Samus, not the best idea sometimes. No, not necessarily. Oh, but using legs to combat a sword, also ill advised. We're seeing Zerom start to pull ahead here, making a serious dent in the Zero Suit Samus. Just playing so consistent. No tag seems to be really fishing for something, and Zerom just not letting him have it. He's playing patient and giving No tag just enough space to throw out these unsafe options that he can see space and respond. But there we go. He gets the parry, gets a little bit too greedy, and that's the stock. Yeah, when your opponent's still airborne and able to drift away like that, you can just avoid punishment. <laughs> Immediately starts out landing from the Angel platform with a Holy Cross, getting the man into a ledge trap situation. Not going to get that down smash. So hard to get off the edge against the Belmonts. You really have to know what you're doing. Oh, able to pop out an air dodge away from the Holy Water. Could have been death. Even, I think, tip or forward tilt would be enough to take out Zero Suit Samus. She's so light. Oh. Just double jump away from that? Yeah, you could have rolled through that. After 10 hits, you're in bone. If you want to go ahead and try to roll in or out, you don't have to just try to cross them up and go aggressive. Oh, hold the, up. Zero, I'm jump? not getting the tether. No, he oh. did keep oh. it. Oh! It doesn't matter. Did he body block him away from the edge. It looked like Simon may have been able to grab that, but the presence of Zero Suit's hurt box actually just forcing him away. Ultimate is weird in that way, man. The the body blocking is so severe in this game. Oh, I thought he was just going to dare him and take you everything You got that one-stock right lead. There. Why not? Yeah, certainly worth it. Back throw to down B. A very fraudulent kill setup, but a scary one nonetheless. Oh, Nair. Oh, no! The tech flub there, perhaps trying to go for that flip kick. Instead, gets the side B, and Zerom must be breathing a sigh of relief right now as all of a sudden he finds himself a center stage instead of with a quick trick for the loser's bracket. No tag looking like he didn't believe in himself right there, but, I mean, the Nair, he was wide open for that. Wow, throws a rogue up B, finds himself on the platform, almost dies to Ness, managed to escape death here. This is super intense. I would say this is an upset, yeah. I mean, at the very least, I know Zerom from coming down to Xanadu. No tag. Still a question mark in my book, but he's showing up big time in this set. Very true. And now we've got that anchor matchup that we talked about. Ness versus Mario. This time, Mario has a sizable lead. No tag was playing really patiently, so I would not be surprised to see him keep doing that. No, he tries for the forward smash kill already. Now he's just spacing these backers. Wow, if that two framed, it I would have lost my mind, bro. I, I know it does, but if it did, right there. Oh, mashing these down, tilts out, but it's not safe on hit. Got to go into something else after you catch your opponent with that. And now it's time for the headbanger's ball. Mash that up smash and dare the man to try to punish you. You can see Zerom's a little scared here, man. He was waiting in his shield. All right, yeah, don't run off and challenge that, please. And that was a very good reaction by Zerom to recognize that Notag was going to try for that Trump situation. Just immediately get back on. Forward tilt to knock him back. We've got another ledge situation. Absorbs the fireball, but oh, gets the, the double. Bounce. 
All right, Zerum getting creative with these recoveries here, but he is bleeding out. 127. Cannot feel too comfortable. I like that. The PK Flash, of course, having a lot less end lag in this game. Yo, this man is nuts. One of these times, no tag is just, or I'm sorry, Zerum's just going to hold down, breeze past the edge, and PK Thunder 2 this man in the face. This is getting dangerous, though. 84%. We are looking very soon at a ledge situation where back throw will kill. Or down smash, of course. Mario, fortunately, with a huge hitbox on his up B, he's able to just poke through the stage with that. Ooh, the heals. Optimal. And you know when Mario's back is turned to you, that up smash could be online any moment. Oh, and he does it. Zerom clutching it out with the drop zone forward air out of nowhere. Man, no tag. He was on fire. And then he just wanted to close it out too bad that you hurt or you could see it. The forward smashes, the offstage chases that weren't there, the two frames.